Hi, I'm Roland Sawatsky. I'm the curator of history here at the Manitoba Museum. And this is the Winnipeg Gallery, and we are commemorating the 150th anniversary of Winnipeg this year. So I want to take you through some of the themes uh, that are shown in this gallery, which opened in 2019. And today I'm going to be talking about the history of the military in Winnipeg. So the military presence has been here since the 1870s. It's changed a lot, and there have been a, um, a number of different regiments. But uh, one thing I want to talk about is the Winnipeg Grenadiers, and in particular, their experience in Hong Kong. Uh, the Grenadiers were sent to Hong Kong during World War II to protect Hong Kong from Japanese invasion. They were there for a couple of weeks, and then the Japanese attacked in large force, and um, the Canadians, uh, those who were not killed in the battle, were taken prisoner, and they became POWs for two and a half years. Some stayed in Hong Kong in prison camps, while some were sent to Japan to work in mines. And in our collection of the Hong Kong Veterans Association, we have this amazing picture drawn by a Hong Kong vet of the labor done in a coal mine in Japan. Uh, it was very difficult. A lot of the men were sick with dysentery and uh, different kinds of illnesses, malnutrition, and they were really overworked in these conditions and it was very dangerous. Women were a big part of the war effort in World War II as well, and not just on the home front, but in the theater of war in Europe especially. And we have this wonderful cap that belonged to Barbara Johnstone, who was a Métis member of the RCAF Women's Division. And she later became very well known for uh, studying Métis culture and artifacts. We also have a pair of glasses and dog tags that belonged to Mary Attree, who was a dietitian. So she worked in the hospitals in England, uh, helping injured soldiers to recuperate. And, and she was the one who was in charge of their nutrition, which is of course incredibly important to become healthy again. And here at the Manitoba Museum, we are extremely honored to hold the original medals of Sergeant Tommy Prince, one of Canada's greatest war heroes and an advocate for Indigenous issues in this country. Sergeant Tommy Prince served in both World War II and the Korean War, and he has medals from both. These medals were very important to him. They were a recognition of his service and his bravery. If you want to learn more about military history in Winnipeg, please come visit the Winnipeg Gallery or visit any one of the many regimental museums throughout the city.